points in pools as we head our way back to singles. Congrats to Cake and Penguin, who, as I, I guess everybody knew, were going to win doubles. They put on a good show for doubles, though, oh, let me yeah. tell you. As you get to see, Bagel is friend, with, not to be confused with Bagel, who... Is also in attendance today. Yeah, and we'll be seeing them later go up against their teammate in ZB up in the winner side bracket. But these two are fighting for qualifiers. And we're, I mean, ready to kick it off. Claire and Maple, how do you think this matchup's going to go out? So the way that things should go is Maple rushes you down, you have a bad time. But if Coda plays things out defensively enough and manages to whiff punish plenty of the approaches from Maple, finding damage should not be that bad of an issue for Coda. But we got to see how that actually plays out. Already a pretty good start trying to just to find some of these pokes, spacing properly to get some stunts. I love the counter on Lily. Just set up a huge zone, being able to separate himself from the uh, from the knots and as well as from Cla uh, from Maple's rope. Yeah, there's just plenty of opportunity to be able to play without having to worry about sudden reversals from Maple, which can find themselves pretty frequently, especially against the likes of Claren. I like how patient Koda is playing this thus far until he finds that uh, finds himself in this troubling spot from Bagel. Who, Bagel is friend, friend, uh, yeah. Biff. <laughs> <laughs> Names aside, they're playing this suit, uh, playing this rather well, con trying to con continually to keep center and avoid Maple's overall speed and getting the down smash as a DI mix-up is all the better. Koda not. Getting a pretty nice refresher on this matchup, having lost to it previously in winners. Yeah, but at least you know, like, you're coming to play prepared for the matchup as you enter, because you don't want to get double win by the same character. Back to back. Yeah. I think Koda has been playing things out just fine. Another counter off on Lily. Just constant removal and refusal to allow Lily active is one of the best ways to keep options away from Maple. And Bagel's friend looking like they're struggling with keeping Lily active. Think focusing to run away to set up Lily ended up being their demise on that stock, too. Yeah, I like how Koda has been playing across these platforms extremely well, trying to take what is so good about Maple and her platform movement against her by just covering all of this space and looking for the downer, Ooh. looking for the end of the set and the game right off the bat. But no dice as we get into this, uh, as we reset to neutral. Another great carry. Th those players are so hard to. Uh, are so scary to go for when Maple is so close, but we haven't been seeing a friend kind of stick to the ground and stick to moves like F tilt and dash attack as a means to break zone and punish what uh, Koda has been going for. And hey, continuously jumping in and trying to force your way onto Clayren oftentimes eats you a air, eats you an anti air, namely that F smash, F strong. Excuse me. I think the way that Koda was playing things out, there was just so much confidence behind the spacing that Bagel's friend did not have a lot of opportunities to reliably rush down, didn't try to contest space too often. Because that Coda stayed firmly in center stage, only really rushing out to assert some edge guards or to remove Lily from the equation. And Bagel's friend needs to try, needs to, try to contest that. Hopefully we're going to a stage with a bit more active space and lower, it looks like we go for Spirit Tree. I think this is a fine enough stage because Lily on flats is going to be able to deny a ton of space as well as give Maple plenty of opportunity to actually contest if Code is going to go out to punish Lily's positioning. Yeah, I completely agree. And while uh, Koda was playing extremely well on platforms, just being able to put Lily at the very least a little bit out of reach helps immensely. And I, that was a really great fastball, but just entirely mixing up where Friend was looking for on the recovery. And racking up the damage further, I like it. Do you think we should have gone off stage? But regardless, it's still good damage. These downers. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. I, I, I think I knew what they were looking for, but just not. It, it, did, it didn't come out. Did, different universe, maybe. Ooh, speaking of different universes, you, you, uh, that was the one where Bagel's friend wanted to dash a little bit closer to get that down smash follow up. But hey, here we are. Still trying to play out this neutral. Gets the roll on this one. And a very nice reset, though. And jumping in. Ooh. Yeah. Great parry. Yeah, and not able to find the counter on Lily. The spacing just a little bit much. Having to force getting rid of Maple first. So I'm thinking Lily on the plats is so good, but Bagel's friend needs to commit to the fact that that platform is secured and then actually rush in to do the work themselves. 
Yeah, I know Bagel's friend does try to be a little bit more of a defensive player, but when you're stuck into spots like this, where, I mean, you can just have your stocks be flying very, if not for Maple's uh, situational recovery with that up special, you better believe that most, uh, the rest of the cast is having a lot of trouble getting him back from that spot. Yes, sir. Ooh, okay. Good chase from Bagel's friend. All right, we got the stock down. Ooh, it's on too. All right, they're feeling themselves. That's what you need to do. Keep that morale high. Missing well, you gotta keep that maple a little higher. Missing the ledge. Not able to return because no, not down. Oh man, and these extensions. This is a reason that Koiren often counterpicks at this stage just as much as uh, Maple seeming to go to as a grab it to one, two. Oh, no, no way! That was a DI check and a half. Absolutely. That was so good from Koda. The fact that they called out not only the first DI in, but the second one, it's like, yeah, I know you're trying to mix up left or right. I got you not once, but twice. That's rough. We're gonna see it again right here. Boop, grab, grab, side special. Goodbye. Oh my. I mean, <laughs> when, you're, when you're getting rocked like that, sometimes it's really hard to reset your mindset, uh, especially given how Maple needs to play a lot more disciplined. Every character needs to play very disciplined against Claren, who can cover so much space. And I mean, Maple has the ability to do so. A change of color and a change of scenery, going to that rock wall. It is trying to trying to make sure that all of the openings Bagel's friend gets matter a little bit more. But every counter pick that seems like they have gone to, they've worked just the same for Coda, if not better. Yeah, it's just a matter of happenstance that the stages that work really well for these characters overlaps really heavily. And I think the fact that Coda's playing at a much faster pace is what's allowing Coda to take advantage of the stage layouts more and more. Bigelow's friend trying to assert control with setting up Lily. We saw it on the right-hand plat before and now on the left-hand ledge. But it's not an active space that Coda's going to be in. See the first kill already off, and one of the matters with this uh, matchup I was kind of worried about for Bagel's friend is the fact that if Claren is running with a lot of momentum, it doesn't matter where Lily is positioned because you're just going to get carried from one side of the stage to the other. Absolutely, and on top of these platforms, and just how good Coda has been moving up and off of them, this is the final hit of up air. I see. Okay. A trade of parry, but Lily will be out of commission at least for a bit, and that's all that Coda was needed to find a hit like that. This is a no hell of way. a scramble. No way. How did this work for Coda? Oh my god. And, and finish your food, ladies and gentlemen. You see that Bagel's friend had their resources, had the wall jump to make it back. Not today. You gotta commit. When you get an opportunity like that to find a reversal and you get the stage control after it, you need to make damn sure that you walk away with a stock advantage. And now it's a three to one count. Coda favorite. Coda's still just rolling along with all of this momentum. Oh my god. What a... I, I, I mean, I'm still a little bit reeling from that previous stock, but oh, that's holy like, It was looking clean. Like, Koda came into this set knowing damn well that not another Maple is going to take them down. Yeah, not today, not twice in the same day. As they, their percent is still not eclipse the century mark, but it's never forgetting about the little things. Never missing a DI on, on, uh, the, on any of these strong attacks. Never missing a counter or a parry on Lily. Just prime counterplay to a T, yeah. and when the moment comes, the stock closes out. It's a solid 3-0 for Koda. I think played that matchup as well as you could ask to do so. And it was gonna move along to... And a nice hug. We'll have to see a good sportsmanship on both ends. No, Bigel's friend played it out well. I think it's just Coda played super well prepared for right. every situation. You know, one thing we didn't even have time to really talk about was the fact that anytime Bagel's friend managed to get a tether off, we only saw exactly one successful punish. It was in that game too. In fact, we happen to have just gotten the replay of it by happenstance. But every time tether was out, Coda was prepared to DI it properly and then find a punish, which is an absolute nightmare if you're a Maple player. Yeah, your one like massive uh, chance to find swings off of these tethers, just completely nullified, and oftentimes you're eating a back air for it. That's a rough. <laughs> that's rough to, at the very, at the very least, at the very least. Yeah, it's like you, you're playing a character as Maple that's very fast, has to get in a lot of hits, has to also just assert control for after you're done getting hits. Because if you don't end with uh, the knot on your target, right. then you don't really have a surefire way of going in for your kill. Like, it's almost necessary for certain kill confirms. If that's not even guaranteed to you, you're just struggling. 
Doesn't matter what Absolutely. character you're fighting. Yeah, it just becomes it becomes so hard all over the place, especially given how proper DI can be. And I mean, Coda's showing that, yeah, despite upsets, he's still worth that fifth seed that he got in the beginning, and he's still yep. looking to make this run. Now we'll be playing out for a qualifier in the next set against one of our winner side losers, which yep. we will see in a bit. But we've got 